Pedra AI tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Hedra AI. Now, what exactly is Hedra AI and how can you get started? Hedra AI is a tool that allows you to create amazing content. So you can create engaging content featuring the best generative images, videos, and audio in your personal AI studio. So let's get started with Hedra AI. To get started, simply head on over and then click on sign up and you can sign up via your email address. So I'm going to enter my email address over here and then I'm going to be creating a suitable password. Then we're going to confirm our password and then click on create an account. Once we do that, we can proceed with our sign up on Hedra AI. You can choose to sign up with Google if you want as well, but we're just going to be creating our account with our email address. And the best part about using Hedra AI is that it is not a premium only tool. They actually do have a free plan which you can use, which can be really helpful, especially when you're trying out the platform and you're just trying to get started. So we're just going to log on now and then i'm just gonna go with our google sign in for a quick sign in and hedra ai billing starts at eight dollars if you choose to bill yearly and it is ten dollars if you choose to bill monthly their professional plan is 75 dollars and we will be discussing pricing more in detail at the end of this video and now we're just going to verify our email with Hedra AI. And I'm just going to open up my mailbox, go into my account, and then copy my verification code. Paste that in, and just like so, we can proceed with our account verification. And once this has been confirmed, we will be logged on to our Hedra AI dashboard. So right now, this is being confirmed. And then once done, our email has been confirmed. So once you have confirmed your email, you're going to log on make sure to write this down write your email down and then password and now we can sign in now this can be really simple if you choose to opt for a google sign up because then it automatically verifies your email now once we've done that we have created our hedra account on our left we will have our navigation bar from where we can proceed with video creation image creation audio creation as well as ai avatars and hedra does all of these things pretty amazingly especially video creation because you just see ads have become super popular and using a platform like Hedra can really make it easy for anyone to build their own advertisements and make content that looks very organic for your brand without paying hundreds and thousands of dollars to individuals. So we're going to head on over into our Hedra home and we're going to proceed on to, let's say we want to get started with video creation or avatar creation, whatever you prefer, and simply select that to proceed. So now to proceed with our AI characters, you can either get started directly with video creation or you can opt for image creation beforehand. Now when you choose to opt for image creation, this gives you a little bit more flexibility because you're able to just create the image, the accurate character for you. And after you've created the character that you would really want to convert into a video, then you can use that image and then go into video over here. Then you can click on start frame and add that as a start frame. However, Hedra is pretty amazing when it comes to Hedra character. So you can just click on Hedra character over here. This consumes about three to six credits per second of video. Then you're going to choose your aspect ratio. So if you want it to be landscape, portrait, or a square frame, I'm gonna go with landscape and I'm gonna go with 540p because I want it to be quick. Then I have the duration. Now you're going to add your character emotion and you can click on inspire me over here to have some prompts. You can add the audio script as well as the starting frame. So uh, we'll Woman with black hair wearing white dress walks into the room. She is with long black hair, walks into the room and drops her coffee. And just like so, I'm just going to proceed and we can click on audio script and we're going to go with generate speech and we can choose one of the voices from 11 labs or Minimax as well. We can also just click on inspire me. This just in a rogue eye slate has claimed another laptop like so. And I'm going to shorten this and then click on add to video. Then I'm going to add my start frame. You can click on create image. You can click on inspire me and you can choose the image that you want to use. And we do have to select our image and we're going to click on create. I am going to be using flux dev for this because I do want to use as minimal amount of credits. A woman with black hair. 
and I'm going to just start off with this image as our starting point. And that is why I do like to play around with characters before I create the video for those characters because when you have tested out characters, different variations of those characters within images, you're able to find the best character, the most accurate character to your vision from those images because when you are directly moving from your simple video and that, that is something that is going to be a bit more cost and effective because if you create multiple videos with multiple different character styles it's going to end up costing you more so this is the character it has created which is a pretty nice one so i'm just going to click on add to video and then i'm going to put in my prompt over here and then i can proceed with my video creation now i'm going to proceed with the free version and free plans are currently disabled due to demand you will need a subscription so you can choose whichever plan you want to use starting off and you can see that sometimes video creation might be limited on the free plans because of high demand on the servers now this just really depends on when you're using this and whenever you're creating your videos and how you're looking to create your characters especially if you're looking to create only image characters or video characters so if I want to go with the flux dev image, confident modern day king laughing at a mysterious mirror, and then I can proceed with the image that I want to create. And with this, you can see on the left, I do have 300 credits remaining. And whenever you create an image, like we created one for a video, this does not actually use up your credit sometimes. Sometimes it does use up your credit. So this is truly a bit of a black area I've noticed when it comes to Hedra. Now, Hedra does have three primary plans. They're light creator and professional on the free plan you get 300 credits but you have slower generations and you're not allowed to use those images or videos commercially so you do need to upgrade and when you upgrade you can upgrade to the light plan at ten dollars a month which gives you access to a thousand credits your credits are not going to roll over which means that if you do not use let's say 600 credits at the end of your month you still have 600 credits remaining those are not going to roll over into the next month instead at, at the beginning of every month your credits are going to be reset to to 1000. Then you have premium voices, voice cloning, commercial use, and no watermarks. And you can purchase additional credits if you choose. The creator plan is $30 a month with 4000 credits, and the professional is $75 a month with 12,000 credits. Now, the creator one is really popular, but you're going to get the most value when it comes to the professional. You do have the ability to purchase more credits at any one of these plans, and you can scroll down to see a detailed breakdown of their credit system. So, this allows you to see how many credits are consumed per type of generation, whether it's a video generation, image generation, and depending on what model you are using. So you're better able to opt for the right plan for you. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to you your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video